Hello, I'm Jim, and in this segment we're going to talk about brake rotors. Now, selecting the proper brake rotor for a particular application can be a little confusing because there are so many options to choose from, but we'll help clear up some of that confusion by going to our expert, Mark. Mark, we've got three different brake rotors here. Let's talk about the differences across the range of options. Absolutely. So right there in your hand, Jim, you're holding our standard G3000 Metallurgy rotor. Uh, that rotor is going to fit the OE application in fit, form, and function. Okay. It's also coated on the hat and the edge of the cooling vanes. All right, wait a minute. It's coated and it looks really nice, but if this is behind the tire and everything, why, why even go to that trouble? Yeah, so most modern vehicles nowadays have large open wheels. You can see everything behind that wheel. Okay. And with the, the salt that's used on the roads in the wintertime or high humidity or salt by the ocean area will cause that to rust. We want to keep it looking nice as long as possible. Okay, so this is your basic rotor OE spec. All right. All right. But if you want something a little better, what do you do? So then you're going to move up to a high carbon rotor. So a high carbon rotor has different metallurgy in it than a G3000 rotor. A high carbon rotor was originally developed in Europe for the Autobahn. It was used on a lot of Mercedes, BMW, still is used on a lot of those applications, OE from the factory. High carbon rotor is gonna dissipate heat much better than a standard metallurgy rotor okay. will. Uh, it's more resistant to cracking, and it's gonna dampen noise and vibration better than that standard rotor will. Okay, so it's cooler, tougher, and less noisy. Absolutely. Okay, and it's also got the uh, coating on it here? Yeah, so this rotor is going to be coated on the hat and on the edge as well. Very good. But what if I want the absolute best, the ultimate? Well, you're going to move up to our fully coated high carbon rotor. Okay. Uh, so it's going to offer the same benefits as the high carbon rotor here, but it's fully coated in a zinc and aluminum flake. Okay. Uh, across the hat, on the braking surface, and fully yeah, coated yeah. on the inside. Okay. You don't have to clean this coating off. The brake pads will brush it off the first time they make contact. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. So these other two I gotta clean off? You do. There is an oil put on them for shipping okay. and storage purposes. Cast iron will rust very quickly. So that oil's put on there, it's gotta be cleaned off before it's installed. Okay, so this one is cooler, tougher, less noisy, and simpler to put on. Absolutely. Okay. Now, how do how do I clean this off? So we recommend using a soapy water and scrub brush solution. Uh, just scrub them off real good. If you can't do that, brake clean in a rag, it'll get the job done. Okay, before we go and put it on the car itself, what else do I have to be aware of? Well, there's a few key areas that we notice are often overlooked. Uh, the first and foremost is the hub has to be cleaned. Any rust, debris, that all needs to be cleaned off. We need a good mating surface to put that rotor up okay. against. All right. uh, the other area that we see is often overlooked is the caliper slides. Uh, both where the cradle slides on the caliper and where the pads slide in the cradle. Uh, those areas need to be absolutely clean and they need to be lubricated as well. Okay, there you have it. Good, better, best. You make the choice.